Hello, this is Chris and Magoosh. And today's math lesson, the big picture I want you to walk away with right now is they don't want you to come up with an exact solution or exact numbers. You're just trying to get the answer. And because of this, they give you what I call the answer spread. Answers that are oftentimes very different from each other. So it gives you or frees you up to do a lot of rounding in the math. So let's check out this question. At Gigamart, we have tiles that are $4.25 each, and there are 484 of them. Oh my God, someone help me, 484. They wanna know, what is the total cost? So yes, I could run to that calculator and I can start punching in those numbers, but we don't want you to do that. No, no, no. We want you to look at 484 and say, hey, I can round that up to what? 500. And since we round it up, what can we do with that 425? We can round it a little bit down to let's say four. And just like that, we can see 500 times four is 2,000. And so we know that the answer has to be close to 2,000. Now take a look at these answer choices. Oh my God, gasp, we're so close together. What are we doing? Did we try to trick you? No, I wanna reinforce the point that these would never be answers on the GRE. They would never use such a tight answer spread like that. What they would use on the other hand is one like this. And voila, there you see. Now it's clear which one is very close to 2,000. There's only one of them, and that is our answer. So great takeaway, don't start punching the calculator or even worse yet, trying to do all the math on your piece of paper. Just round up, round down, because the GRE gives you that wiggle room and you should use it. Now, if you like that video and you're like, God, I wish I had more help on GRE math rounding, check out the description below because we have a post that's all about GRE math rounding. And if you like the videos like this one, then check out the ones on the left and I will see you next time.